Welcome back to Massey's Mini Allotment. Losing life fast here, so I'll so just do a quick walk around. Start with the brassicas. These Romanesque cauliflowers are taking head. It's not taking very long before the bolt is happening. I just think it's changing weather, rain, cold, back to sun. Some of the calabrese are forming heads, alright. Cabbage whites are kicking in. Yeah, we might get a couple of heads in them. Replace some of those cabbage that we're eating. Put some more beetroot in so they're coming through. As you can see here, you can get the idea from the Romanesque. It's just forms and then bolts. Calabrese not looking too bad. These cabbage are looking good. We might get them out of the ground before cabbage weeds do any more damage. Salad beds. Lettuce are probably a bit, a bit rough at this stage. Spring onions. In some more rows. So as you can see, they're coming up nice. To the corn. So all the heads have formed. They're not that big. But we'll see how they go. We'll just leave them in there now until the tassels go around. Keep them watered. Back bed. I ended up taking the onions out. So I put a row of watermelon and radish and some more beetroot. I'm sure it's probably too late, just to give it a shot. And the cover boy and everything else is going along. Swedes at the end are getting devoured by snails and slugs. Too close to all these bushes and everything, so let's we'll see how they go. Swing around then. They had a bit out of bags that I cleared out. Put some carrots in. Still coming up nice. Last of the potatoes there. I'll dying off, probably try and do a reveal. Let's see if it cut through. We've got more French bean, yellow and green. Get a bit of that. Just a sugar snap. A lot of growth on the green but no no real flowers yet. Yeah, just scanning in, you got some courgettes going on there. And the cucumbers as normal I find they you don't really grab on, but we've got some flowers on. It's very cold at the moment. So, uh, not expecting much from them. And then another line I put in of the what's called watermelon radish, in red in the middle. So they, it's fired in anyway, so we'll see how much they grow. Let's swing around and just quickly show you the, the tomato experiment in the buckets versus the, the grow bag. So, these are the tomatoes in the the buckets, um, as you can see, two varieties. So I've got some growth on. Let's see, can we get them to ripen up? And a second variety there, less growth on them. But still got some nice tassels. So I think the buckets are better. I'll just throw them down. It's just uh, growing them in the in the unit in the grow bag. Again, I've got some some tomatoes going on now ripening up um, but overall I think I'll be doing buckets next year and the amount of space that thing takes up you will probably put three or four buckets in just, just the herbs these purple ones too are nice carrots yeah. so that's it Sun setting now, so I'll do a quick reveal. Probably won't show you going through them up, but just show you what I got out of the bucket at the end. So I just dumped that bucket there. The label said Cara, pretty good yield. I'm not, I don't remember Cara having this red tinge on them. I'm not sure if you can see it in the, in the light that I have. It's a sort of pink red tinge. So I'm not sure if I had the wrong label. If they are Cara or it was the wrong seed potato in the late in the bag. Pretty good, decent size, probably a bit bigger than expected. It looked nice. It's a nice sunset now. This is quite. It's not 